Hi guys, welcome to another video from Ezra Automation and today I'm pretty excited to talk about another new course from Ezra Automation on Spring Boot for automation testing. So this is the first ever course probably on the internet which is going to talk a lot about using Spring Boot for automation testing toolings like Selenium and for the rest assured or API based testing. So there are many uh, discussion that I did in Selenium with C Sharp and with Java and similarly for API testing with REST Assured and REST Sharp. So those are tools which are very specific to perform certain actions in those languages. But this Spring Boot is basically a framework which actually not only just used for developing a web-based application but also for a microservices or even beyond that i mean spring boot is much much bigger and it's 16 years old framework the spring framework and spring boot is just a bootstrap of the spring framework and it does a lot of magic for us and those magics i mean bit of those magics is what we're going to be extracting out from it and then we are going to be using it for our automation testing purpose so basically this code is more like a pattern that how you use it for automation testing, like how we use Spring Boot for automation testing, but it doesn't really cover a lot about Selenium itself. So if you're looking this course to cover uh, about Selenium, like in full end to end, like how to find an element or how to work with identifiers, something like that, those things will not be covered in this course, but it's gonna be focusing more on the pattern, like how you can actually use Spring Boot for automation testing, like the UI testing tech. And similarly, microservices. That's a big word. I've been talking about microservices, contract testing, and how we can use all those things in REST Assured. That's exactly what you'll be doing in this course as well. But we are gonna be creating our own microservices using Spring Boot, and then we'll be testing those microservices in Spring Boot over here. So we'll be using the REST Assured as well as the test REST template and the mock MVC to test those APIs that we developed, the microservices that we developed in the Spring Boot, and then we'll be testing them all. So you can see that this course is basically divided into five sections as of now. The one is the uh, introduction section. I mean, just don't worry about the introduction sections, but you can see that it's like section one, which talks about the Spring Boot's basics. So this basic section basically covers what is Spring Boot, how you can use Spring Boot uh, in terms of automation testing, and what are the things that you really need to know about Spring Boot in terms of automation testing. So those things will be covered in this section one. And then section two is gonna be Spring Boot with Selenium. So it's gonna be more like using Spring Boot in a Selenium focused way. Uh, it doesn't really cover a lot about uh, how you can use Selenium uh, in multiple different way, like how you can open the browser, th things like that. I mean, you don't, we don't really get into the basics of Selenium, but we use uh, Selenium in the context of Spring Boot and Spring Boot in the context of Selenium two way like that. So that's what we'll be doing over here. And then in section three, we'll be covering how we can fuse the Spring Boot with Selenium and Cucumber, uh, which is the PDD based coding, uh, and how we can deal with that. So that's going to be covered in section four. So in section five, which is nothing but section four, basically, we are going to write a microservice application with Spring Boot. So that's going to be really really cool because you'll understand how you can write your own microservice in spring boot completely from the ground up and then how you can launch that and how you can start running it and you'll understand the whole lot of idea about how the microservices are being developed working in spring boot which is going to be very very interesting and this section is super important to understand as well and once you see this almost one and a half hours of this uh, microservice application development then we'll start testing these microservices in spring boot using a REST Assured, using test REST template, using mock MVC to, to test the uh, mock responses, to test the real integration testing uh, of, uh, of the APIs using Spring Boot uh, microservices and using the Spring Boot's test REST template. All those things we'll be discussing in this particular section. But then I also added the crash course for testing this whole API using REST Assured. And that's very important as well because people who are pretty new to the uh, API testing, they wouldn't be knowing about the REST Assured. They wouldn't have even tried using REST Assured. So I've added the whole course that we have already in YouTube available on this course and it's completely available from the ground up and that's been added as well. As a part of this particular course, we'll, we have also added what is the contract testing, how you can do that and how we can extend that for our API testings and stuff. So this course is like a full package of using Spring Boot 
for the UI tech as well as for the integration testing tech. And we are going to be adding more contents in it. I probably this particular course is going to get a bit advanced, like how you can use Selenium uh, in even different ways, probably like a parallel execution, and how we can deploy this particular uh, Spring Boot test on the CI CD pipelines and stuff. I think that will cover the whole a uh, whole journey of this particular Spring Boot for automation testing. But yes, that's, that's what it is. This course is pretty exciting and I'm pretty happy to give this course for much cheaper price, much, much cheaper price. Uh, so the launch price of this course, launch price starts from the most least price of this course, uh, which can be done on the Udemy. And if I, to be honest, if I just go back to the Udemy and this is the pricing section, you can go and deal with it. This is the tier one. The free is the one that you're going to be getting it anyways in the YouTube pretty soon, uh, but it's going to be slow. Uh, but if you go to the Udemy, you can see that the free tier, uh, the next tier on the Udemy is $19.9. So I'm going to set this one. I'm going to save this one. Uh, I think it's already been changed. And if you ask for the coupon codes, I mean, I'm going to generate a launch coupon code anyways, it's going to be even further reduced from this price to probably 40% of the price. So it should be around $10. Uh, and that's the maximum I can reduce as well because that's the restriction Udemy will let you do that you can't reduce the price even any further. So if you go to the promotions and if you try to create any coupon code, it will not allow you to generate a coupon code like $2 or $3 for you. Because I have seen many students coming to me asking, can I get this course price to a much cheaper price? I mean, this, this is the maximum cheapest price that I can really create in Udemy on my courses and the reason being my courses are already available in Udemy for business so if you are part of Udemy for business you could get this course in much cheaper price or free price and the, your company is going to bear that cost uh, and I cannot really join in the Udemy for marketing which you can get some of the courses for like $10 none of my course goes into the $10 bracket because my courses are already there in Udemy for Business and it can't be in two different marketing channels. So that is the reason, this is the maximum lowest cost I can really give you this course, uh, like $19.9 and after launch discount, it should be around $10 probably. And uh, yeah, that's the maximum I can reduce and uh, hopefully that makes sense. So this is, the, this is the whole new courses guys. I mean, I'm pretty excited to see you all joining this course uh, and I'm pretty excited uh, that this is a nine hours of course during the launch and it's going to be extended even further pretty much like the playwright course uh, and this is going to be pretty awesome to see you all learning Spring Boot uh, for automation testing for both UI and microservices. Thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day and thanks for subscribing all my courses in Exit Automation. Thank you.